Welcome to another training session of PLC programming. This is the lesson number two of the PLC programming using GX developer. In the lesson number two, we will see how we can make a logic for hold on means how to hold on an output. Before starting today's session, I would like you guys to please subscribe my channel and do comment in the comment section regarding my videos. So let's start today's training. Let's discuss hardware and wiring for today's session. A push button is wired to the PLC input X0 and this push button is normally open. Another push button is wired to the X1 input and LED indicator is also wired to the Y0 output of the PLC. Let's go to the GX developer software and do some programming. Here we will take X0 input as normal open contact and connect Y0 output with this. So the logic is simple. If the X0 input is closed, it will turn on output Y0. Let's write this logic into the PLC. If I press push button, it will turn on the indicator at Y0 output. One thing you can notice that the output remain turned on only as long as push button is pressed and turn off immediately when the input signal goes low. So now let's see how to make a logic to hold on this output. Here we will put normal open contact of the Y0 output on the next line. This contact will close or turn on when the output Y0 turns on. Now we will put a vertical line to connect this contact with the upper rung. Now when the input X0 turns on, it will turn on the Y0 output, which will also turn on Y0 contact. This will cause the output Y0 to turn on permanent or hold on. Even if now I release the push button, the output Y0 remains on. Now we will put normally close contact of the input X1. So now whenever we press this push button, it will break the hold on logic and cause the output Y0 to turn off. Let's load this new logic into the PLC. As you can see that if I press the push button at X0 input, it will hold on the Y0 and it remains on even I release the X0 push button. When I press once the push button at the X1 input, it will turn off the output Y0. Now let's see the ladder logic and discuss how the things are working. As you can see that when the X0 input turns on, it will turn on the Y0 output contact, which also turn on Y0 contact. Now the path closes through this contact and this will cause the output Y0 to turn on permanent or hold on. Even if now I release the push button, output Y0 remains hold on. Output Y0 will turn off if the push button at X1 is pressed once. So this is how the hold on logic works. 
I hope you like today's tutorial. Please subscribe my channel and do check out the video tutorials on my channel. Till next video, take care and goodbye.